hear me? I'm here. <laughs> oh, man. I'm back. I'm having video difficulties. I'm hoping the picture's better. My phone wasn't connected. I couldn't figure out how to rotate the camera, and now I did. <laughs> Guys, I'm not perfect. I know nobody is, so there you go. All right, are we ready? Should we keep going? It's super clear, yay! <laughs> So, I'm so sorry, guys. All right. I am like so scared to move my phone the wrong way. Oh. Okay. <sighs> guys, thanks for hanging in with me. I'm sorry. Okay, are we back in business? All right. How's the angle? We good? Yeah. Okay, three times, a ch third time's a charm, guys. Okay, so I know half of my other photo or video was blurry. My last one was comical. So now let's get down to business. <laughs> so I just finished the front of the enlarged Devon, right? Oh, man. Okay, so we just have to cut this down to match the back, guys. Great now, yay! All right, I'm so glad. I'm just going to use my scissors and just trim this up. Nothing fancy right now. My phone keeps disconnecting from our Wi-Fi and that's what had happened, yep. and it was running on LTE, which is why the picture was horrible. So, hopefully we won't have that issue now. Okay. I'm just trimming this up. Gotta cut out my corners here. Charlotte, don't get in my face. Okay, one corner. All right. Uh, you have light or something in the way. What is blocking? Oh, it's this right here. Okay, thank you. Is that better? Thank you. Thanks for telling me that. Oh my gosh, guys. Maybe I wasn't meant to do a video today. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah. This is perfect time to just sit down and sew, huh? Is that better, Lucky? Um, okay, so there is my finished front pack of the Enlarged Devon. So, I want to do my cross body straps up here where my zipper's at. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I have to attach them each side. Okay, so my zipper, I um, on the last Devin live video I did yesterday, I explained my zipper tabs. So I cut this zipper at 10 inches, okay, for this enlarged Devin. I enlarged it all by two inches and then my zipper is 10 inches on this one. And then I did zipper tabs on the end. Um, I'm not um, gonna sew over my zipper tabs when we sew it all up. Okay. So center that on there. And I have never put my connectors in this way. I sure hope this is the right way to do it. But people that have done the sunshine crossbody probably know the correct way. I would think I just put it underneath my zipper up here. Am 
myself some room. Actually, I'm going to baste this on real quick so it stays in place. And I'm doing it, how far from the edge am I? I need my small ruler. Give me a ruler. Right over there. Do you see it by the light? Look at me. Look at me. Right there. Small room. Thank you. I'm going to do it about an inch and a fourth away from my edge. I'm just basting that connector on there. I do need some caffeine. I had some. Oh, see? And I didn't drink it. That was my problem. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Okay. So I'm putting my connector right here. And then I'm putting my zipper. So when it's done, my connector is going to be right there on this side. And then I'll put it on the other side for the other one. So it kind of hangs right. All right, I'm going to baste that on there. I want to go to bed. Then go to bed. I'm going to go over that um, connector and backstitch it over that so it stays in place. We'll see. I've never done it this way, guys. I hope this works. <laughs> I hope this works. See? So then there's, there's my connector, right? And so I'll do it on the other side on the back. Okay. So then take... I'm going to put... I want my card slot um, one to be on the back part of my back, so I'm not doing that with the front piece. So I'm doing just my plain one. You could totally put a slip pocket on this. You could put another zipper pocket on this. It's big enough that you could do something else. And for the back, I was thinking the same thing. The back would be cool with like a little slip pocket or a zipper pocket too, to have something extra to slide your keys or your phone in. I think that would be neat. <clears throat> Oh, thanks, Chan. <laughs> I probably looked ridiculous trying to start and restart that video. Oh, well, what do you do? Thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, so on my other video, I showed how I pulled back. This is Garth's method that I learned from his um, Devin that he made. I pull back my lining like this, okay? And I'm not gonna sew that into my bag because it'll help with your corners coming out and your zipper tabs at the end. Yeah, this bag, you could do so many different things with it. It really does have a lot of options. So I kind of love it. It's such a good like jumping off point for a pattern like you could just go lots of different places with it I love patterns like that very versatile all right the zipper pocket on the back lining yeah I think that would be super cool. That would work. Now I'm showing better. Oh good, I'm glad. Okay, and so when you top stitch this, do not stitch your lining in. If you stitch your lining in, it'll be hard to get your um, corners and your zipper ties to come out good. So I just top stitch my front piece here. Okay, I pull out my lining over here. Well, I'm glad I fixed that internet issue. I guess that was the right thing to do to stop and start it. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to double check when I start my videos. And I'm connected. All right. 
My connector pieces, guys, I cut at um, one and a half inches by two each and folded them in half. So that's how long they are, right? I think they'll be good. I think I'm going to like that right there. I think it'll be good. Okay. So we got that all top stitch. So we want to take our back piece. And I want to make sure I get, can't forget to put that other connector on there too. You got to fold that other one down so it doesn't get in your way. Center this. All right, and I did about an inch and a fourth from the end of my bag. So I'm gonna put this other connector piece on here. I feel like I should move you guys down a little closer. Um, yeah, I will I will connect the video where I learned the, the zipper tabs. Hi, Bob and Weave. Is your name Caitlin? Is that right? I think your name's Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Um, I'll can, I'll, uh, link the video in the description of where I learned how to do the lining and you can watch the video if you need to. That's right. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to put my other connector on this other side. All right. I think after this, maybe I need a nap <laughs> and a, a big piece of chocolate. All right, baste that connector down real quick. <sighs> yes, I don't know if somebody can um, link his channel real quick. So one of the administrators can link his channel into, if they know who I'm talking about, into this comment feed. That would be super awesome. All right, I'm going to baste this down. So I had the idea, yeah, you would take a nap. Yeah, I might have to take a nap today. Um, I had the idea, I have a trailblazer that I have to sew up for a custom order. And I thought since everybody's home and we seem to be needing it, I would go live um, sewing up the trailblazer. I don't know if people are interested in that or not. Sorry, the picture's lower now, but I feel, I feel like you can see my stuff better. Okay, so I'm gonna put the liner on. Even that up. Make sure you fold down your lining. I have forgotten to do that on my last video, but it's super easy to go back and um, take it out. Yeah, I have an actual trailblazer tutorial, um, but I thought I could just do a live and sew it up in case people have questions while I'm putting it together. All right. Oh, that's my connector. I'm like, what is that in the way? Sorry, just a second. All right. Thank you, Pam. I appreciate it. Hi, Cynthia. You're sewing the Victoria wristlet. Oh, I haven't seen that one. 
I'll have to look that one up. Okay. So remember to top stitch just your outside piece. Oh yeah, look at that guys. Look at my connectors. I think that'll be, that'll be cute. I think it'll lay better when it's actually on your body. Up there. All right. And I'm just sewing, I don't think I mentioned, I'm just using, this is just marine vinyl. And my friend is canvas. And my inside we have talked about is waterproof canvas. And this is marine vinyl that I just bought from fabric.com. Say that again. Let me see. How did you make? Oh, how did you make the car slot? Um, <laughs> Kalisha, is that how you say your name? I have had some difficulties in my videos, but I did. The first part of this video is a separate one. And I showed you how I did the card slots in that one. I'll also put it in my descriptions, the measurements and stuff. I measure, or I enlarged this by two inches, guys. All my measurements are two inches bigger. <clears throat> Jay did the smart thing. Oh yeah, shoot. So along. Um, the trailblazer, it's, it's just a lot of steps. It's not hard. It's just a lot of steps. If you can do the snowdrop, you can do the trailblazer. Okay. We got it all. We're going to pin it all together like this. I'm going to leave a hole in the bottom of my lining. And I am not sewing my zipper tabs in. I'm sewing as close next to them as I can get. And my lining's not going to be in it. Okay. That is the key for those nice corners on your bag with the zipper tabs. <clears throat> yeah, the Trailblazer, it's an awesome bag. It looks intimidating. It's not, it's just lots of steps, guys. It's just lots of little steps, but totally doable. I was actually surprised the first time I put the trailblazer together, how nicely it goes together. You just have lots of pieces, so but you can totally do it. No pattern I'll have to I'll have to look it up Victoria wristlet awesome okay so let's sew this on up move this out of the way sorry about that It took you eight hours when you, yeah, I mean, it's not by any means a fast bag to put together because there are so many pieces. It's time consuming, but it was doable, right? It was doable. And it is my most popular bag. Everybody wants that one. Yeah, it was loads of steps. Yep. That is for sure.
And then I always increase my seam allowance on my liner so it lays in nicer into my bag. Leave a hole. Yeah, um, I didn't do a lot of big bags at first when I started sewing either. They're intimidating at first. But you get to a point in bag making where after you've done a certain amount of bags, you kind of understand the concepts and what they're trying to do and how they're trying to put the bags together. And it just, it's like a, it's like understanding a language when you read bag patterns. The more you do it, the more you understand it. If that makes, does that make sense? Um, is there any way you can modify it to cut down the steps, the trailblazer? I mean, yeah, you could modify it. You don't have to have, you don't have to put all the pockets on the outside. It's all the pockets. There's so many pockets on the trailblazer on the outside of it, um, which is why it takes so long. And that's the steps we're talking about. You could totally, you don't have to do all the pockets as with any pattern, you can always you can always change it to fit your needs. Is that a good way to put it, Caitlin? Thank you. <laughs> That's what I've kind of realized after doing so many. You kind of understand what they're trying to tell you in the pattern. All right. And then we got to close up our corners my threads here <sighs> lucky yeah you just kind of need to bite the bullet just take it step by step just do say okay tonight on the trailblazer I'm gonna finish the front flap and then go to the zipper pocket and then go to the slip pocket you don't have to sit down and do it all at once It'll probably be a lot more, um, less intimidating if you just take it little by little. That would be my, that would be my suggestion. These corners are easy to fold up than on the regular Devon. Those ones are so little. All right. bottom ones here and I'm going to going to sew them closed at a bigger seam allowance I think I went almost up to a half half inch seam allowance on this lining <laughs> yeah it's time consuming That's why some people don't understand why we have to charge so much for the bags that we make because they don't understand. I don't think you understand until you either see it done or you do it how long it takes to actually make a bag from start to finish, especially one like the Trailblazer. If I sit down in the morning and have it all cut out and ready to go, I can finish it probably in about four hours maybe. But that's like just sewing the trailblazer for four hours straight and have it already cut out. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, come on. There we go. Yeah, Gloria, good point. Challenge yourself. Yep, if you get frustrated, set it aside and come back to it later. I do that a lot. Okay, so we have it all sewn up. We're gonna turn it out. Angie, it's worth the time. So satisfying, yeah. Um, so this pattern doesn't come with pattern pieces. It just comes with measurements. This Devon pouch. So all I did to the larger size in the Devon pouch pattern, I added two inches to all the pieces. Yes, this is the best part. Turning it out, unless you screwed up. <laughs> Unless you're like, oh crap. But this is the best part. If I can get it turned. Angie. <laughs> you're funny. Okay. Let's see if I got everything. Than I was supposed to do here, guys. It's been one of those days. Bottom looks good. It's a good looking bottom. Okay, that was weird. Let's do this. My edges. Have some threads I need to probably burn. I'm always scared I'm going to burn my vinyl and melt it. <laughs> All right. Yes. Look at those corners, guys. Good looking corners. Good looking bottom. All right. Sew it up. Thank you, Joanne. All right, stitch up the bottom there. here. Let's see what we got. Did I add the two inches to the width as well as the length? Yes, I did. I did. So what I did was I kind of looked at, so there's two sizes in the pattern and I kind of looked at what they did with the smaller size and that seems to be what they did with it. So I just did that for the bigger one. Um, do I have acrylic nails, Angie? Yeah, I have, um, they're dipped, but they're actually my actual nails. They're just, I've just been able to grow them out. Um, I love sewing with my nails. I feel like it helps with lots of things. <laughs> Two inch from, yeah. Um, okay, oh my gosh, guys. Look how cute that is. Kind of digging that. Let's put on our, I already made the crossbody strap. Let's see how it, 
how it hangs on. I'm going to move you out a little bit. Look at that. Yay. I think that turned out nice. Um, okay, so this is definitely how I would put on the connectors. If you guys enlarge it, I would definitely, this hangs, I'm going to put on two backs here. This one hangs so much better than this one. Do you see how that's kind of weird? It's kind of odd hanging there like that. But then you got this. Do you see that? Woo! <laughs> All right. You guys. The Saya bag. Yeah, baby. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging in with me. I'm sorry I had so many technical difficulties today. I don't know how I'm going to put all these videos on YouTube. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Maybe I'll come back on tomorrow. I don't know. But you guys all hang in there. Hope you're all healthy and doing good. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.